Hello loves, thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aries. I feel like someone wanted to try and take a journey towards you. That's in the reverse. This person, they can't come, to, somebody can't come towards you. Yeah. Somebody definitely has some type of plot plan or scheme to come towards you. 555 five, five could be of significance. Oh, my goodness. 5-5 five, five, and then the number 10 here. Something here is com is completed. It's over. All right. I feel strongly that for a lot of you, um, someone has some plans for you. If somebody has some wicked plans for you, these are wicked games I'm hearing. Somebody has some really wicked plans for you. This person is being stopped in their tracks. I mean, 100%. Like, somebody here is for sure being stopped in their tracks. I feel like this is someone here who was trying to force you to conform. Um, someone is upset that you're not conforming with this hierophant being here. Someone is upset that you're not conforming to <laughs> their will or, or their way. You have your own independence. You have something of your own that you're holding on to. You're receiving some type of offer. This could be a brand new opportunity um, whether it's in business, relationship, friendships within your family. Um, it's something here very, th that's going to bring a lot of passion for you. Some of you, you have an opportunity to become some type of leader yourself, or there's just an opportunity that's being placed in your lap right now for you to do something that you feel is a vibrational match for you. You're in this energy of being the empress, therefore you're being celebrated, or you will be celebrated very soon here. The queen of cups, nine of cups, the sun, page of cups. Whoa. <laughs> this this trash over here doesn't even matter. It, it doesn't. You have the queen of cups, the nine of cups, the sun, page of cups, six of wands, and the two of cups. And I... Oh, shoot. I feel... <laughs> King of swords here. I feel like Archangel Michael is making sure that you get exactly what's yours. Somebody tried to take something from you. I feel like somebody tried to shut your mouth. All right. I don't know if for some of you, if this is a male or female or perhaps both. I feel like someone has been stalking you, spying on you. Um, it feels like someone has been sent out to do something because I saw the Queen of Swords. If it, it feels like somebody has been demanding that someone do something to you or, or that they try to get some information from you or they put up some type of blockage for you in your life, but... This is like Archangel Michael, or this is a masculine in your life who it has detached from someone, okay, or is just aware of something. This could even be like a an, a law official or something like that here. Somebody has for sure been advised to try and do something to you, to hurt you, harm you, sabotage you, or a connection in some way. I feel like this is what we talk about all the time. It's It's really, really just an old... An old story here. The Ten of Wands, the Tower, the King of Pentacles here. Yeah, someone who's been trying to place blame. Um, I heard blame. Someone trying to place blame on you and burdens on you. Divine intervention is coming in to strike. Okay. The King of Pentacles. This could have been someone that at some point you were in a relationship with. This person could want to be in a relationship with you, but someone is very, very upset about you having this pentacle here. It's a pentacle for you to go into a brand new beginning, and it's something significant right now. You're having a lot of peace, balance, and harmony. Somebody does not want that for you. They want you to stay in this cycle of having a lot of chaos. The cycle is ending with the world card being here, the five of pentacles to the ten of pentacles, the ten of cups. You're going from rags to riches, and someone already knows that they're very upset. The trumpet of the divine is blowing on this situation that has been hidden someone's plan to to um someone could have been trying to set you up i really feel with some type of illegal situation this was was a plan a tactic or, or strategy that a person had this is being blocked here this is not gonna go through you're still gonna go right on to whatever path you're in love with your your soul purpose your soul contract it could be a relationship it could be you traveling relocating whatever it is that you're destined to do with exactly what you're going to do you will be celebrated you will have victory success you'll have a passion new beginning you will have um just good things hmm interesting short sweet to the point Somebody really had a plan. 
It's the King of Swords here. Yeah, somebody wants you to stay on this hamster wheel cycle. But again, someone already knows that you're receiving something. What I really get from this is someone is fully aware of what you're receiving because they've stolen so much from you. A lot of you, what you're doing now is you're being able to finally use your own energy. You're blocking something or someone out of your energy. You're using your own energy. The King of Swords is here with this Six of Pentacles. There could be a very strong Leo present. Okay. It doesn't have to be. It really doesn't have to be. But I feel strongly that for some of you, either someone has been trying to block you. They, they've, they've really wanted to block your higher self. This lion to me is jumping out at me a lot. And it's, it's representing a lot of different things. I feel that for some of you, you could be the queen of wands. You don't have to be a fire sign, but you could be embodying this energy of fire. You could have a lot of fire in your chart. Um, you could be, you know, possessing a lot of Leo-like qualities. You know, you could be someone who's in the spotlight. You could really, really just grab the attention of a lot of people. You could be very assertive, ambitious, you know, easy on the eyes. Many may consider you very alluring, sexy, or whatever the case may be. Interestingly enough, I just got a notification and all I saw was the word lioness. So this could definitely be a Leo, like I said, or someone just that carries that type of energy. Um, that may not be your sun sign. Now, I feel like you may be embodying this this energy of this of like a Leo, but there's perhaps a Leo involved in a situation. It could be another sign here. Definitely a fire sign, though. You could be embodying this energy right now, though, this fire energy. You may be manifesting a lot in your life. I feel like you have a person who could possibly be trying to tame this beast that is within you. This is a good beast. This is you having that confidence, that confidence that is your key to success. Someone wants to shut you up. This is their plan. They, their plan is to shut you up, shut you down. Okay. Now, on the flip side of this, some of you, you have a, a queen of wands in your life. And this person is someone who could possibly be trying to hurt or harm you, but they're also trying to do this when it comes to a masculine that's supposed to be in your life. I feel strongly that there is someone here who's using a lot of manipulative tactics, honestly, to try and stop not just one, but two people. Someone here is very much obsessed with control. They want the spotlight. They want to be in the center of attention. So it's sort of like both of these cards to me, it's like, Leo, you have a high vibrational like Leo type of person and then you have a very low vibrational person okay you have one person here who's in this energy of love and light purity it's just your divine essence here for you to actually be able to tame um other individuals who may be in a lower vibrational or to just tame the beast within other people okay to kind of make them conform and 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 maybe live a better life. Maybe you're more of a healer. But you have someone here who I feel is very wicked. And that's what I was hearing before, wicked games. Someone here is looking closely into your life. They're, they're spying on you, trying to figure out what exactly is happening with you. Because even how the cards are laid out, there's a whole, there's a break here. Okay. Um, that's how I'm, I'm reading how the cards are being placed. So you have like this, this battle of the fire signs here these women okay somebody wants whatever it is that you have i feel this king of swords is someone who is possibly like this beast okay this this lion in the pride here and then you have like these two lioness like energies this king of swords though is choosing to take whatever he's offering to one person to give it to another and i feel like that has caused a real uproar with someone this could be romantic, it could be business, it could be, you know, whatever it is. Some of you, you know this person, some of you, you don't even know this person. Or you're not romantically involved with this person. I feel strongly that many of you, you have people that are coming against you. They have researched you, studied you a lot, and you may not even be aware of these people, okay? But again, over here, you have the two of cups and the six of wands. There's victory and success in a situation once you move out of this conflict, this chaos, competition, or whatever is happening here. I do feel like whoever is involved, the masculine, this person is going to eventually perhaps apologize to you. And they're going to let you know that, you know, if you're wondering, yes, the answer is yes. They are very much 
into you. They they want to make an offer towards you. Some of you, this is not someone that you've been in like a serious relationship with. This could be someone that is interested in you right now. Um, but they're coming out of a situation. I'm definitely getting the the vibes of a very jealous, envious like ex. Someone could kind of be um transitioning out of a period with someone, a relationship. Um and that person, they're they're not taking this well at all. Because this ace of wands here. If some of you are dealing with a, a person. Ace of wands, queen of pentacles, the hierophant. Three of cups, the empress. It's so clear. Like someone. They're very passionate about you. Um. It's your business, you know, it's it's a little late, but if some of you have even, if you've been sexually active with this person, this is something that's turning from something that could have been sexual to this person making you an offer for a commitment and them celebrating you as a divine empress. Like them saying, you know, this was something, it was fun, it was flirty, maybe it was it was sexual at some point. I don't really feel like for a lot of you it was sexual. I feel like there is a very, very strong chemistry, passion, or connection that you may have with this person. You know, what you choose to, to do, that's your business. But somebody is seeing an opportunity to have something very stable and secure. You don't have the Hierophant, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Cups, and Empress. That's like long-term stability security that's a relationship the two of cups and the six of wands somebody here though is trying to get out of a tumultuous like traumatic toxic situation with someone who's refusing to let them go some of you could be dealing with the person right now they could be a little hot and cold with you because they know the type of situation that they're moving away from because remember, we had the five of wands, the five of cups, and the ten of swords. I really feel like someone has, someone needs to be in in a in a in a jacket going to the mental facility because someone is really really losing it because of an ending. Someone is not taking an ending well at all. Mm -mm. I feel like somebody could have been separated. This person may have met you. They could want to pursue a connection with you. This person that they were dealing with is upset because they know that with the Eight of Cups being in the reverse, the way I'm seeing this is like somebody here is choosing not to go back to someone. They see it as too much of a burden. So for some of you, you may just be someone's breath of fresh air. But they're seeing you as much more. And whoever they're dealing with, they know that. So somebody is trying to create burdens for the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles will go with the Queen of Pentacles. But you have divine intervention coming in here. You have angels. The divine is going to make sure that something here is balanced out so that someone can break free from this situation. I really feel that this is a, a, a man, specifically a masculine, who is actually a male who's dealing with someone. Um, who is giving them a really hard time about their decision to move away from a situation, you know, a situation. I don't really feel like these two people are in a relationship anymore. This seems to be something that's kind of on again, off again, off again. Yeah, there's a cycle here that's over, but someone is not accepting this. Someone wants this to turn into more while the other person has already made their choice to move forward. But this person's path is being blocked by someone trying to cause this this chaos with this this strategy to try to hurt or harm someone but judgment is being called on this person for the things that they've been doing in the dark queen of swords yeah see look the queen of swords is heartbroken over this emperor and this empress is really, really trying to get away from this person. This person 
the four of cups <laughs> this emperor does not want this this offer from this person and and there's a huge i don't know if this has a lot to do with money yeah this this has a lot to do with money Someone does not want to lose the security or the stability of dealing with this person here. But yeah, it will put an end to their security and stability if this person chooses to move away. I feel like you have a masculine here who has been juggling a lot because he's been trying to take care of this other person. I, I feel like this this person has, has been one in the ground trying to maintain his life and and the life or lifestyle for another person and because he I, I feel like he got somebody out of one situation this person now does not want to let this person go yeah he's juggling this person wants to move away from this situation though i feel like somebody here is understanding that like someone is tired of trying to be loyal to a situation from their past that they see as toxic. Someone here has gotten some type of clarity or information page or source. They're seeing the toxicity in this situation and they want to move away from it. This person has their eye on someone else who is single, abundant, self-sufficient, secure, someone, you know, who, again, going back to like the, the, um, the two types of fire energies and you don't have to be a fire sign, but you have someone who is naturally confident. This masculine wants to go towards this person who is naturally confident, who just embodies this divine feminine energy. One, he's wanting to get away from this very controlling, insecure type of person. And what, you know, is very clear here is that there is love. There's a breakthrough. There's truth and clarity that is coming in. However, this masculine is extremely tired, frustrated, confused, because of all of the magic and the manipulation this person is having a difficult time and i feel dealing with a lot of regret because you're dealing with a masculine here who probably has the tools and the resources that's necessary for them to move on you know the magician has all the tools and resources that they need but this person is still struggling with delays this person is having a difficult time with getting towards having stability security and a happy life elsewhere where they can actually have real love because of this person that's in their energy or their environment this situation is something that's going to be healed though where someone this this pentacle is still going to end up in the lap of this divine feminine here there's just a lot of confusion right now you're being asked to trust your intuition something here a plan is being hidden though okay a plan someone's plan to move away from a situation is being hidden this masculine and whoever this third part this karmic energy is these two people they work together they've collaborated on something um they work together and yeah i feel like this person already has one foot out yeah this person is about to really take action soon with moving away from this situation 100 percent Whoever this person is, though, is very, very controlling and obsessive. Ten of Wands, Nine of Wands. I'm telling you, you have someone out here who does not want to let this masculine go. This person does not want to be left alone with any type of responsibilities dealing with children. This person is someone who is looking at a masculine like their, their meal ticket. Yeah, temperance. This person, they want to keep this home together even though there's probably no real peace, balance, or harmony there. They just want to play house. And I feel like this masculine right now is desiring a family with a true divine feminine. This masculine is ready to go set up shop somewhere else. You know, the hermit. Someone wants to ghost the situation. They're seeing the truth about something. Could be a Virgo here, Sagittarius, Virgo, Sagittarius, Leo. Hermit, yeah, somebody is going within right now and about to take swift action to go in towards someone to pretty much offer them the world. Okay, somebody is being given the boot and, and I feel like a person is upset about this. Yeah, 
Because there's a woman here who may actually be asked to leave a situation. Someone has called judgment. Someone has found out about something that was being done in the dark. What's interesting is that whoever this karmic feminine energy is here, this person could have told some lies about a child or this person is actually has another relationship outside of the relationship that they have with this masculine, but they want to hold on to this masculine for security and stability reasons. I feel like this masculine is fully aware of the fact that this person is being very manipulative. This person is utilizing this masculine's tools and resources to get what they want, but this person is also cheating. This person is going out. Look, the three of cups, <laughs> the seven of swords. Someone here could have found some information. Now, keep in mind, he could be a she, she could be a he. Um, this could be a man who's who's going to be caught cheating. This could be a man who's relying on a woman financially, and he's cheating, okay? Take it however it resonates. Feel free to reverse the roles, but... Somebody here is in a situation for money that is very, very toxic. Okay, these people do not get along, but they're they're playing along to get along because of some type of arrangement that is here. And it has a lot to do with finances. It could have a lot to do with children or something like that. But someone here has found out that a person wants to move in a different direction towards someone that maybe they're developing feelings for or that they've always had feelings for. Okay. Ooh, two of cups the king of pentacles and the tower yeah this king of pentacles here is about to blow up the spot this king of pentacles is ghosting the situation i mean i feel like this person is really trying hard to get out of this situation but like i said because of the ties that they have with this other person here it's very difficult right now i feel like this person is having a huge epiphany also about someone that they would like to go towards that they see is wish fulfillment. Someone here is waiting on something to change when it comes to some type of something in the workplace or some type of collaboration before they can fully get out of a situation. You have the sun. The wheel turn going to the sun and then the six of swords. Something here it is going to work out. And then look, the strength card fell out once again. Leo energy. Someone is captivated by a woman's um, confidence. So, you know, if, if you consider yourself the divine feminine here, someone, they really, really like the fact that you are naturally confident. Like, they're in love. They, they just can't help it. Like, they're completely in love. Yeah, this person wants to make an offer to this high vibrational person who embodies this this strength of a Leo. Like, this is someone here who it carries that lioness type of energy. Leo, um, Chariot here is Cancer, but this is someone who has the strength. Someone here likes the fact that you have the strength to walk away. I feel like you even walked away from this person. And you're not allowing this person to play games with you. They're not used to this. This seems to be the type of man who really gets their way, but, like, they're... They're kind of in a bind with whoever it is that they have this arrangement or marriage or whatever with because the thing that gives this man a lot of his power, honestly, is his money. Whoever this person is that he's dealing with, they could have business, children, or all of the above together. This person is afraid to take some type of loss here, but this person, they really, really respect the fact that this divine feminine is willing to call quits on this situation. I feel like the divine feminine has made it clear to someone, I will not deal with you if you are married or in some type of partnership. And this man right now is for sure someone who may have money, but and is dealing with someone who's stressed out about losing money. Somebody could be going through a divorce. And I feel like you, Divine Feminine, you're just kind of sitting over here like, I'm chilling until this wife or whoever this this companion of yours is out, is out of the picture. I will not deal with you. I feel like you're probably catching flights and, and no feelings and you're in your Divine Empress energy. And you're the High Priestess. And these two people are somewhere at home and they hate each other, but they won't split up. Yeah, these people, they go out, they cannot stand each other. This person here is cold and bitter, mean, angry, but Eight of Pentacles, they work together. 
They work together. They have children. They could be married or they're in some type of contractual agreement. Someone is three of wands. Someone here is waiting on something. There could be something here that a person is waiting on to be over. I don't know what the situation... Somebody could face jail time if they leave a situation out. So I don't know if someone is blackmailing the other person or what. This emperor here, king of swords. Nine of swords. There, this woman out here... This woman is doing something really crazy that could possibly put her behind bars. Mm. I mean, what is she doing? This this person is, she's unstable. This is a chemical imbalance. She's juggling a lot. She's playing both sides. I wonder if this, um, yeah, that's the truth. Ace of Swords, King of Wands, Six of Wands. The Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands. Um, I feel strongly that there is like a karmic woman here who has actually there's a setup here. This King of Wands, Six of Wands, Seven of Wands. This karmic energy has gone so far as to actually hire someone or to do something that could. Be very incriminating to try and stop this masculine from moving away. Going, being passionate about going towards someone that they may want to actually have a relationship with. Something here is over. And you have this karmic person who is very upset. This person is not able to keep this man stuck or woman, however it resonates. This person has done something that I feel can get them in a lot of trouble. This masculine may even know this. This masculine may is just... I feel like this masculine is just sort of sitting around like, yeah, <laughs> I know what you've done, and it's just a matter of time before you're locked up. And I don't think that he's going to be upset about it. I feel like he's in a space of place now. Yeah, this person, the Hierophant. A lot of Taurus and Scorpio energy out here. Taurus, Scorpio... Yeah. Somebody is thinking about their future. And I'm not meaning like their image. I feel like someone is going has gone through an awakening. They're getting closer to God. They want to do things that match like their actual morals and values, even if they didn't have the same set of morals and values in the past. I've you know I I'm really hearing somebody say you shouldn't have ever played with my money. I and I, I channel a message like this maybe a year ago. This karmic, I feel, has done a lot, but I feel like this karmic really, really went too far when she decided to play with this man's money. You know, everybody kind of has their real pain point or whatever. I feel like whatever this person has done to you know, cause issues with this man's money is where he really drew the line. I do feel like he does care about this divine feminine, but um, <laughs> so three cards just came out with this deck as I grabbed the other one here because I have them all together and it says justifying behavior the test and travel. Be ready for new experiences or possibly an opportunity to travel. Whatever this adventure is, you can count on making progress. But you have the test and justifying behavior here. To justify their behavior, even though you know deep down inside that it was wrong or questionable at best. It's clearly not a good sign. And this is a test. You're establishing boundaries, testing your limitations. How you resolve these conflicts will determine if you'll be able to stay together. I feel like this person, I'm telling you, there's a really crazy person out here. And someone does a lot of stuff to try to test the patience and the boundaries of the other person. And they try to justify their behavior. Okay. Now, for some of you, this person is going to be coming towards you. This masculine could come towards you. You're being tested. I don't think that you need to deal with this person right now because of 
the situation that they have going on in their personal life or their home life. This person may ask you to travel somewhere or do something with them. You should not engage in this behavior. No, because yeah, you need to trust your intuition right now. This person is still very caught up on their stability and security elsewhere. And I feel that although this masculine may have deep feelings for you, this person is playing both sides. This person is unavailable to give you all that you deserve right now. And with the type of energy that they have surrounding them that I don't really feel like they're putting their foot down to really deal with this other person, you need to stay away from this situation. This is a warning. This rejection is actually your protection. It's not so much this masculine that you have to worry about, but the person that they are dealing with is someone who um, honestly is dangerous. Okay. Stability. This relationship can stand the test of time. Hmm. Maybe it's just not the time. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. I really feel like that's a third party. This person is completely obsessed with you. Obstacles, unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. Yeah, you're going to have to let this person heal. But it says this is a, a destined partnership. Fate. So something is just not the right time. Um, <laughs> you need to wait for this person to be in jail. <laughs> Yeah, integrity. Does this situation align with your values and morals? A lot of you, you know that right now, this is not the type of situation that you would like to deal with when dealing with this person. There's no reason for you to, to sit back and justify someone's behavior, okay? I feel like this masculine could justify the behavior of this karmic woman, okay? Um, I definitely feel here where someone is obsessed with you because you have... A feminine energy here, the karmic, I'll, I'll just refer to the person as that for the sake of this discussion and this reading. This person is very obsessed with the fact that you really do carry true divine feminine energy. This person, I feel, is extremely insecure. This person is bitter. They're cold. They don't really like their life. I feel like somebody here really took a person from rags to riches and it pretty much tried to, excuse me, but turn a hoe into a housewife pretty much. Um... And now that this person feels like they're going to lose some type of stability or security that has been created by someone else, they're very upset. But it's very interesting because I feel like this karmic energy is actually cheating. This person has a relationship with someone else. This is just an energy of kind of like a gold digging energy or um, someone giving very much like that opportunist type of vibes. This person could be narcissistic. Now, again, keep in mind the roles could be reversed. This could be a man. If this is a man, though, I do feel like this is a man who could be more in a feminine energy and is depending on a woman financially. This, Whoever it is, whether it's male or female, they're doing a lot of different things and playing the victim constantly and justifying their bad behavior to keep someone hanging on to them or from moving forward because of the financial stability the financial gains that they have. Like I said, this could be a man too. I'm seeing it both ways. Somebody is pretty much staying with someone for money. They're cheating, but they're they're playing along to get along. You know what I'm saying? Like, But at the same time, kind of making plans to leave a situation. It's different. It's like if it's a woman, this person does not want this man to leave at all because I feel like this person, they could definitely have children that they share together. No matter who it is, these people, they do something together um, that has them financially tied. They make money together some type of way. But one of these people or both of them are actually cheating. I mean, obviously, they're both cheating. Neither one of them, their, their heart is not with each other. They're both dealing with someone. This is like an arrangement. It's an arrangement that has really just gone bad because someone that is now obsessed with the romantic interest of the other person. And it, like I said, it could be a male or female that's doing this. It could be both. I don't know, but there's a very unhappy home that's being held together by some type of financial arrangement. Someone could, like I said, be going through some type of legal problems holding on like there's no love there though i mean it's over 
But regardless of whether it's male or female or how this, what's going on here for you, the viewer that's watching, if you are a divine feminine or masculine and you're dealing with this type of situation, if you have this energy coming towards you or coming back to you, this, it could be a faded connection between you and this person. It's always, you know, your, your discernment that is key in this situation and it's your decision. Um, I would just say right now, it's not really safe for you to deal with this situation. It's not going to bring you security. This person is unavailable. Someone needs to come to you when they're totally single. Okay. And even when this person is single, this seems like the, the other person could still be a problem. Um, For some of you, this other person, whoever it is, someone really may end up um, going to jail. Um, someone could go to jail. Someone could be admitted to like a mental facility. This is, I've, I've gotten that message a few times this week. And then for some of you, this has something to do with someone's, um, I guess you could say like citizenship. I, I feel like citizenship um incarceration but also to like someone may be forced to move oh okay listen to this so i don't know what the laws are but somebody may be forced to move somewhere or someone is being forced to stay somewhere because of of children it could be in a like a divorce decree that someone can't move because of children or something like that someone could possibly be trying to i don't know deal with a legal situation that has something to do with like a divorce or custody something like that is what i'm getting here wow i just said something about um citizenship or something and the island card is here look tornado and island foreign affairs separation storm warning so this could be you know it could be someone here could be foreign but there could be a separation or a breakup here there's a sudden unexpected and something someone is going to be destroyed but it's like someone is trying to liberate themselves from this situation this is just some type of arrangement you guys that has gone bad i don't know if two people met and they came together for because they wanted to make money Several months ago, it could have even been a year ago, I remember doing a reading about a masculine who got into a relationship with a woman and the woman had this man convinced that the child or children were his. Or they could have even been married and this man actually went to sign the birth certificate or to adopt children that were not biologically his. When everything started to crumble and fall and this these two people wanted to separate and go their separate ways. Obviously, this man was still left legally responsible for those children. This is a situation like that that's coming because there is a legal component to whatever this is I'm picking up on. Somebody's money. And in some some for somebody, somebody's money and their freedom is is being controlled by this arrangement. I don't know if it has to do with children, money, property, or what. But someone is really trying hard not to lose a lot of money. I don't think that there's any way that they can avoid that. Or someone is trying to stay somewhere because they don't have any money. I don't know. So you have the hangman here. with a woman oh my goodness stars eagle judgment stalemate there's delays here someone is having delays with coming towards you because there is another perhaps woman involved someone is having a difficult time with challenging the status quo here 
Um, I feel like there's been a lot of illusions here where someone hasn't been able to really get have a clear vision about what's going on in this situation that is a stalemate. Like someone feels like there is no way out of a situation. I don't know what on earth has this person this bound in whatever this connection is where they feel like there is no way they can get out. But this person has fallen in love with something or someone outside of this connection the relationship that they currently have Okay, so I'm hearing in love with another man. Somebody is married. And they have a family. Now, with high honor here, I'm not getting that this... <laughs> these people could, could have affluence, I would say. There could be some type of... Uh, religious beliefs or something here where two people they feel like they just cannot break up for whatever reason um these two people may be held together like i said with a gift here i don't know if someone is waiting on um it's almost like this marriage was a gift to someone someone is in they're they're receiving something by being in this marriage or someone is staying out of jail or uh, this marriage is keeping somebody from, I don't know, like it's protecting somebody from something. Isn't there something like when people have certain um, legal cases, like your spouse can't testify against you or something like, it, it's something like that. Like somebody married somebody and it was, uh, it was like a safety net or something like that. I don't know. I don't know like I can I, I this all I can hear right now but anyway we have marriage um family room bad health and coffin so does someone get married for money someone may have married someone because they knew that this person was going to receive some type of settlement or money or something like that someone could have married someone because the other person is is ill and about to pass away someone could have Someone could be staying with someone because they know that um, a, a member of the family is going to pass away and someone is going to inherit something. Someone wants to stay with the person because something that the other person is receiving is going to bring about great fortune. Or someone could have, um, yeah, message of concern here about a mature man, sudden wealth, official person, child. Oh, my goodness. And lovers. All right, there you have it. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, perfect. Makes sense. Unexpected income. So, what I'm getting here is someone is in an arrangement, and like an arranged marriage. I don't know if someone, what did you call that? I'm hearing estate planning, probate court or something. 
so someone could have been married or dating. I feel like a member of someone's family is either in bad health This child is going to become an official person by gaining a lot of wealth from a mature man. So there's a mature man who has left their child, grandchild, niece, nephew, whomever. I just heard mentee as well, okay? Someone here has... has is related to a mature man or woman some type of way they're connected to some someone some way this person is in bad health and could possibly pass away or has already passed away this person is someone who is of high honor okay this is an official person this person is leaving a gift to someone that could change their life because it's bringing about great fortune here. So someone is in a marriage or a commitment with this person because obviously when they get this person gets his money, they're going to get a share of it too. Now that could be one that could be someone's story. I'm getting another story too. When I was speaking before about this possibly being a man who could be dealing with um dealing with a woman for financial gain or stability, there's a there's a man. I'm picking up this energy. It's a totally different story. There's a man. I don't, I'm I'm trying to stay away from. I'm seeing a man. But it could be a woman. Someone here is pur purposely acting as if like they're almost in poverty. Someone here is purposely not getting certain jobs, not doing certain things because they know that they are in a marriage. This this connection is in bad health. The marriage card is not always a relationship. There's a partnership that's in bad health that's going to end. Somebody may know that they are filing for a divorce or they want to get out of some type of business deal. However, this person is expecting a gift of great fortune that could change their life. Someone is becoming an official person of high honor and they do not want this other person to take them for everything that they're worth. Message of concern, family room. And the lovers, the lover speaks of a choice. Someone already knows that a person is going to make a choice to go on to a new path where they are going to be very, very successful. I don't know how this person knows this information. It could have been something that they discussed. Someone could have looked, divination spying or something. Someone knows that they're coming into sudden wealth because of inheritance. They could have invested in a business or something. This person also knows, though, that they want to get out of a business deal, contract, or a marriage with someone, and they're trying very hard not to have any of their finances tied in with another person. Somebody is out here pretending that they have nothing because they don't want to be hit with child support, alimony, or that somebody does not want to have to split everything up. It makes me feel strong like that's a man. There's a man out here who does not want to be responsible for pretty much giving everything that he has up to a person that I feel honestly he regrets ever being with. This also could be the situation where a man knows that he will be responsible for taking care of children with his wealth. And these children may not be biologically his. But you know, of course, people that get married, they, they, they do the... They play the role or some people are happily married until they're not happily married and people adopt children and all that. They don't really think about the fact you may not be with that person forever, you know, to each his own, do what you do. But somebody here is trying not to get caught up with their money when it comes to children and a relationship. And this has a lot to do with an investment in a business or an inheritance. But someone is for sure waiting on money. 
someone could even be like they could be getting a settlement i'm getting specifically someone here could be waiting on a settlement from like some type of um workplace situation it's almost like somebody has been doing something in the courts with their finances where they're gonna get a lot of money and they're really hiding this from their their partner spirit is saying that this person they found out about this money when they found out about the other person so for some of you this is someone you're dealing with whoever they're with started looking into this person because of you this person you know was going homeless or whatever this person's routine has changed because of you possibly okay when this when the the karmic person started to dig deeper they found out about this person coming into some money i'm seeing two people i'm seeing like a divine feminine and this masculine they're talking about business and i feel like this masculine has shared or wants to share with you that they have like a million dollar idea or they're about to get a large lump sum of money but this person is keeping this very very close to their chest i mean they're they're trying to be very safe about this i almost feel bad for even putting this in the reading because for a lot of you this person they haven't even told you like what they're worth or projects that they're working on that's going to bring this person is going to come into a lot of abundance but i will tell you this they don't want to share this money with whoever they're with they refuse to share this money with whoever they are with These two people who are possibly married or work together, they're both doing stuff out in the streets. I feel like, especially if this is a man, he knows that this woman is dealing with someone else. And he's like, I refuse <laughs> to pay you all this child support alimony or to let you get in on some, somebody. If, if this Somebody could just be working on a business right now, too. And obviously, they're in a partnership with someone right now. They don't want that person to be able to take any of the profits from their business it almost feels like someone is purposely trying to slow their money down it's almost like somebody's trying to make less money or they don't want their money to be verified or reported i don't know and that i feel like that's kind of where the legal component comes from yeah, look at this journey and occupation. Somebody is working on something. Somebody may travel. Somebody also could be putting money in like offshore accounts or something. I don't know. Imprisonment and distant horizons here. Hmm. Uh oh. I'm gonna tell you the reason why I feel like there is. I'm getting something different now. Whoever this person is that has money here, something shady is here. Or this person is being set up so that it looks like they're doing something very shady. Because the the salt the island card came out earlier. Someone here is doing something there's foreign affairs here. So this person could do a lot of international travel. They deal with people at a distance when it comes to their money. For sure. 